Riverside Elementary School will be educating more students next year. Last night, the Brainerd School Board approved a $2 million expansion project that will help ease the school district's growing populations. And as our Scott Sheehan tells us, the plan is to be open in time for the first day of class this fall. The school board agreed to a three-headed team of the National Joint Powers Alliance, the Gordian Group, and High Tech Construction. They'll add 12,000 square feet and contain seven new classrooms, along with new restrooms and staff spaces. And they say working together should allow them to be ready for the start of class this fall. When we started this project, we thought this would be a really great opportunity to improve the security of the entrance of the building. Originally, when a visitor would come, Secretary could not see that visitor coming in because this is a brick wall. So we wanted to create an entrance where somebody would come to the door, be able to identify themselves at that camera, and one of the secretaries would release the locks on these doors, and then they would go through here, sign in, get their identification badge, and then be directed to the classroom where they need to go. I know it was quite a bit of challenge, right, Jack? For your Absolutely. construction, this wall was... Yeah. a Pretty uh, tough. Pretty, pretty tough wall there with some hidden infrastructure of other stuff there too. We had to circumvent and uh, think on the fly there and come up with some aesthetic cover-ups of that. So, yeah. It's really nice. It looks like that door has yeah. been here the whole time. Yeah. So, very impressive. Very well. Here we have the new configured front office area. And uh, there was some wall demolition in here. One of the things we run into with the wall demolition, we had uneven heights of floors from one side to the other. We had to level in all the floors. We cut that door, new door into there. That's a solid brick exterior wall. There was uh, some challenges in this area. Then the rest of this part of the project was on the new addition, which is a few feet that way now. So. All right, guys, let's go take a look at the rest of that addition. All right. Okay, here we are at the new addition again, fellas. Looks great. Jack, I think we just walked through what was previously a wall, an exterior so it, wall, it, right? It was a, an exterior entrance in this area. Sure. Um, the brick wall that you see here was the outside of the building there. And wow. where you're standing now was a little bit of green space with a parking lot. We added uh, seven total classrooms in this area, plus two large student restrooms, as well as a staff break room. Three of the classrooms have uh, restrooms in them. The biggest challenge of the project was the, the timetable for it. When you get a job to be done at the end of summer, especially in Minnesota, because summers are short, mm -hmm. uh, you get an idea of a project in January to take it fo to full design and completion by the end of August, uh, especially a job this size, is pretty remarkable. Yep. Can you kind of talk about how the design phase of this worked with you and Earl and the school district? When uh, Earl first approached us, Stan Weiser, our in-house architect, created some conceptual drawings. Earl went through them, passed them around to whoever needed to look at it, tweaked a few things, finally settled on the, the final design of what we we're going to have here. And then... Uh, oh, we had so a moving target. We started out with three classrooms, yeah, exactly. then we went to five classrooms. Yeah. We just kind of agreed that we're going to do it and made the decisions, didn't we, as exactly. we went, and, and uh, so we didn't lose any time. It was uh, wide open from the get-go yeah. on this thing, and it didn't stop till the end of the project. Jack says, oh, we got to do this over here. He said, well, that's good. You know, it's fine. Let's go with it. What's it going to cost? So we agreed. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. That's how this project yeah. went, right? That, that's uh, on a fast-track project like that. You, you yeah. have to have people that'll make decisions yeah. and, and the reactionary people to implement yeah. those decisions. Yeah, right. And, and uh, you just can't be waiting on Yeah, things, the so. school gives me the responsibility to make sure it gets done right, keep it in budget, so I have the ability to change things at my discretion. And it worked out works out very well that way. Yeah. And actually, not only did we finish on time, we finished ahead of schedule because that front office was done two weeks earlier than we had anticipated. It, did, it was. And this was probably a week earlier than we anticipated. The other important aspect of this project, I think, was the local subcontractor community in how they jumped and responded to the needs of the school district. 93% of the value of this project was done with, it, with contractors and 
uh, vendors within 20 miles of where we're standing right now. Wow. So it worked out really well. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. I think that's a pretty remarkable statement, especially the location we're in as well in northern Minnesota. Right. So very impressive. We've done a, a enough projects together in the yeah, past. We trust we, each other. We each other. got a yeah. trust what, you know, factor yeah. here, and, and, uh, and it works well. And then combine it with the speed and efficiency of the easy IQT, you know, procurement mm -hmm. there, yep. it, it, it makes for a good uh, combination. So. Yep. Students at Riverside Elementary in Brainerd will start off the semester with new notebooks, pencils, and new classrooms. We just completed the addition under Riverside Elementary School, which created new office space as well as a whole new classroom wing for our third grade students. It was a fast track project, and as soon as school got out in June, high tech construction and their subs kind of took over and, and started. So um, this wing, as well as the office space, was all built and completed within three months. What high tech did here was nothing short of remarkable. It came in on budget, and you know, that's all somebody from Buildings and Grounds can expect is on time and on budget, move on to the next project. There are very few people that can make this happen. I know high tech is one that can, period. Thank you.